Hi, I want to share a tip with you uh, about uh, white screen and uh, running your applications there in in, in Windows. Um, so basically, I got my new white screen, which I'm quite happy about. But it also gave me some uh, frustrations since if I run like this one, which is a remote desktop. I'm sorry, this is in Danish, but this is a remote desktop, uh, the Windows 10 remote desktop app. So it, normally I would run this in the full screen and then this bar up here would disappear. So since I'm now running this in a window, I record a little bit more than uh, the window here. So you see you have some black areas in the side and that's just part of my widescreen. So this uh, management studio here is uh, 1920 times 1080. So it's just a normal full screen. But if I run this in a normal way, uh, it will take up all my space on the screen. If I run it in full screen, this will go away. So why is this a problem? Um, I found out that now when I work in my Visual Studio here, I have code which seems a little blurry. So it's not 100% sharp. And, and that's why it, the, the app here automatically squeezes the resolution so it uh, is not full resolution so uh, i miss some of my sharpness i try to work with the with the styles here and go a little bit uh, bigger in the text which helps but still blurry and all the areas which doesn't uh, reflect to that zoom um, it's still blurry so it was kind of annoying annoying to work there all day in, in this <clears throat> so what i did was looking on the internet and saw that there was some uh, hacks to remove uh, the title from your screens, uh, which some of them actually work. But since this is a Windows 10 app, I didn't find any uh, way to remove that completely. Um, I installed uh, this, what is this called? This tool. Let me, let me, let me, let me just see what's it called. I found this tool called Auto Hotkey which can where you can make some scripts that does things with the operating systems i think it's quite a handy tool um, and i found some scripts that could um, try to hide this uh, title bar but basically it didn't really work um, but i found some of the code and actually then i adjusted it a little bit um, so let me share this code with you as well let me just make this a little little smaller here so there's some code here and actually what did the trick for me was that uh, th this basically tries to uh, remove the title which work in notepad and other small applications but didn't work in these windows 10 apps also didn't have didn't this one didn't even have any effect uh, some tips from another post i found but the trick which made it was that you can move your windows to a specific location. So now I move it to in the middle of my white screen, uh, have the normal 920 in resolution, but then I set my top bar at minus 36, which means that I just hide this area. And then I have the space to add the 36 here. So 1080 plus the 36. Um, so when I do that, Let's try to save this, and I add this on the Control J hotkey, um, and then there's a little tip. Since I always want my shortcuts to be within the remote desktop, so I can switch between programs fast and stuff like that, then uh, I need to set that to use um, shortcuts within the remote desktop, which means that. Let me try to log out here. So now I'm out. So if I try to, to start the application, then I have to press this hotkey before it actually logs into the system. But you have some time to do that. It does like this. I press Control J and whoopsie. Then it's resizing the screen, moving the screen at this minus 36 location. So that bar is gone in the top. And I have my full screen in the bottom. And I have a fully clear uh, area for my Microsoft Management Studio for my code. Uh, I can still have this one so I can get out, but 
I don't have this X to close the application, but as long as I know my short keys uh, to do that, then I can just uh, leave the program when I want. So this is the kind of perfect setup for me to use this uh, code area in full screen, so I get 100% sharp looking code um, and menus even in 100% resolution. So that's the tip for today, guys.